In this video, I'm going to teach you the best ball carrier move in Madden 23 and how to layer it with another really powerful ball carrier move that you can use to finish runs at the end of a play. What's good, guys? My name is Cody, and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video every single day on YouTube. We do tips just like this one. So if you want to get better at Madden, make sure that you hit the subscribe button uh, below. All right, guys, so what we're going to be doing today is just teaching you kind of a basic little concept um, that I really, really like this year. Uh, that is basically called the L2 hard cutting concept. But we're going to teach you um, something additional to that and show you how to uh, use this in certain situations to also finish runs as well. So what you're going to basically do is you're going to come out in any run play that you want to run. And when you go to cut, you're going to see in this year's game that you can like hard cut by utilizing the left trigger. Now this used to be celebrate in previous years, but now it is the ability to cut uh, really hard either inside or you'll see right here I can again always have the ability to cut this run back now the real benefit of this is just the ability to turn runs into like stuff like this where I can cut it all the way back against the grain and be able to pick up you know a couple yards in a play that could have been potentially just you know blown dead you'll see here another real benefit of the run is the fact that I can use the stiff arm and I actually think that the stiff arm if you're not using any abilities is probably the best ball carry move to finish runs because what you're going to see here is i'm just going to l2 hard cut in and i'm going to stiff arm and i'm going to hit you know about five ten or, or a couple extra yards just by doing that alone let me show you this again so i'm going to hard cut in and then i'm going to stiff arm you see a lot of times you'll get that tackle break but another thing that's really important to understand about the way madden 23 works in terms of the running game is if you can get out here and you hit stiff arm you just start spamming it what happens is when you get sucked into a tackle battle, this right here, which um, will basically get you off. Or you see there's the stiff arm again. And again, I'm just literally, as soon as I come up on a ball carrier, as soon as I come on a tackler, um, I'm gonna just literally start quickly, quickly hitting the X button. Because the X button is always what the tackle battle is as well. And you'll find that you will finish runs a lot better. You'll get about, you know, you'll, you'll typically get about at least two to three extra yards. And then you can use that hard cut. Now, the way that I like to use the hard cut is when I want to cut, I'm just going to like click it and then cut just like that right there. There you see there's a tackle battle and you see how just spamming the X button. I'm going to win that almost every single time. So literally when I, I'm not going to hold left trigger, you can, you can hold left trigger the whole way, but you'll see they'll do kind of random cuts. You want them to do these little sharp cuts just like that. And the way that I find best to do that in this game is to run and then click it when I'm ready to do it, as you can see, and then cut into the hole just like that. Now, the beauty is this isn't just an under center running tip. This is also, I mean, this can work in any scenario where you have a ball, but it also is a really good shotgun running tip. So I'm just going to come out and trip side in inside zone, and we're just going to come out in some random, uh, some random nickel plays here, because you're going to probably get nickel at least. And basically what you're going to see here is based on where they're at, I can L2 cut to wherever I want to go. So if I if I want to cut all the way back across the grain on this, I can basically turn this into a counter just by clicking that left trigger when I want to cut wherever I want to go. So I personally really like to click this button. So I'm going to be going and then I'll just click it whenever I'm ready to cut. And then I'll basically turn the left joystick whichever angle that I want to go. So you'll see here, kind of same thing. I can do that. Another thing that you can use the left trigger for that I think is really underrated is as you're running through here, you can like hit it and they'll do a little hesitation move. And that's actually a really underrated move. One of the other things that I wanted to say with this is that when you go, you can like hit left trigger, cut inside and cut outside real quick. And it creates almost like a stop and go type of feel um, to the way that the run works. You have to understand that in this year's game, you know, they tried to take out jukes and spins. They had to basically, if you have to basically pay for an ability to use that. So using something like this, this L2 cut, as you see right there, I did that little swerve and I'm able to get through a tinier hole um, to be able to finish a run too. So I love this. This is another great feature of this L2 cut. As you see here, it just makes inside zone a very versatile run. I'm able to cut this to the left. You know, if I wanted to, I could come in and then I can L2 cut outside just like this and turn this into a power sweep. So with one run, I can run left, I can run middle and I can run 
and I can run to the right side. Now this also works in the passing game. What you're gonna see here is I'm just gonna hit this little quick route, and then I'm gonna L2 cut upfield, and then I'm, as you see here, as soon as I engage with the defender, I'm gonna always use the stiff arm to try to get that separation off of the defender this year, just because of the way the game works. You know, here, a little bit different of a situation, but anyways, you kind of get the idea with this ball carry move. It's really, truly one of the best ones. The other thing I can tell you about running the ball this year is you don't want to hit turbo until you are through the line of scrimmage. I really think that this is a super underrated tip. Do not hit turbo until you're through the line of scrimmage. It will create auto sheds, and it will also, a lot of times, mess it up and make it harder for you to cut um, in these gaps. Another thing that I like to do with the left trigger, last little thing, is you could actually use this in the backfield. It's kind of like a gather step as you're kind of making your read on where to go. So when I'm getting the handoff, sometimes I'll hit left trigger and then kind of like do a little stop pivot and then, you know, kind of determine off of that quick it'll give me a second or two to read the defense and say okay i need to go left or i need to go right like right there you see i can suck them into the inside and then i can pop through that other left side hole the left trigger will basically suck people to you and the beauty of that is you can kind of like manipulate this and go back back that way so Anyways, that is pretty much the best ball carry move in Madden 23. If you guys want to learn um, how I run all my offenses and stuff, make sure you're in our Patreon. I've got several offensive ebooks, several defensive ebooks. Our Patreon members get access to literally everything that we have over there. Um, so if you want to get access to that, again, the link is down below. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. And I would really encourage you that if you're having you know trouble running the ball or just having that, that go-to ball carry move, the stiff arm at the end of runs is really good. And then using that L2 cut to kind of create your own little different running game, running lanes within the defense is actually really good as well. Thanks for watching. And if you want to get all of my eBooks, make sure that you join our Patreon down at the link in the description below.